The opening line that this was a clusterfuck could not have been more self-aware. Six underground stars the always affable Ryan Reynolds as one. He is the leader of a group of ghosts that name its members like the kids next door. This group is comprised of highly trained specialists in their respective fields, such as a doctor doing field surgery in a car speeding through Italy without ripping the person open, but alright, we'll pretend the Alfa Romero didn't just make five different jumps, hit four different people, and break into three different drifts. All of that for a bullet, and somehow the interior of the car didn't look like Jason Voorhees just killed the entire female wing of the Mount Mass of a Asylum. I'm getting ahead of myself. This group of ghosts is on a mission to bring down a dictator who drops bombs, but he keeps on forgetting. The kids went down, the crowd got so loud. They opened their mouths, but then the chokes came out. Alright, enough Tupac. They're after a dictator. People die and shit blows up. This is a Michael Bay film, so everything is going to explode like they molecularly replaced all the carbon with nitroglycerin. Everything goes boom. Cars, people, hell, in the foreground of a shot, there is a box of cabbages that explodes. So either the cabbage salesman from Avatar booby-trapped his cart, or the cabbage have become self-aware and devoted themselves to Allah. Also gotta love how the aforementioned Alfa Romero is part Borg. You'd be hard-pressed to convince me this thing isn't made out of regenerating biosteel. It drives through cars, people, bullets, and repeatedly switches from damage to undamaged like the progressive Name Your Price tool is actually a sonic screwdriver in disguise. This is, in part, due to the rapid editing. You can actually blink and miss context. If the steady shots would slow down for half a fucking second, maybe I could tell what is going on without having to question whether or not I just lost time again. Which is also worsened by the pace moving as fast as a tiger beat that makes you wonder where you just ended up. We're getting chased in Italy! This guy is dead! Found a replacement! We're in a war zone! Bombs! Wait, Michael Bay, please, for the love of God, slow down and- Oh, you want slow motion? Great, I've got plenty! No, please, stop. I can't take this anymore. I'm not asking you to show up the Wachowskis. Just tell me why you ordered an iced David Franco with extra impalement. Oh, I just gave him the Michael Bay treatment like they gave his brother the Alien Covenant treatment. Now, excuse me, the sun is setting and I have to apply the Dutch angle to another golden hour modeling scene. You know, I think I get it. Michael Bay just never grew up. He's a kid who never grew up and now makes movies like the games he played with his action figures, Hot Wheels, and cartoons he must have watched. This is evident from his horrible abuse of cinematic time, like at the end when the coup is started to remove the dictator. Five minutes after beginning, there are already riots going around like a dictator was caught kneeling on an innocent man's neck. It also doesn't help he can't keep a camera centered and straight like he's allergic to tripods. Due to the camera movement, it is difficult to tell if many of the lines are ADR'd because what Ryan Reynolds says versus what he spoke are two completely different things. Filmmakers should stop with ADR lines in scenes like these. They make me feel like I'm watching Liar Liar on daytime cable television again. Six Underground is a mediocre movie mess. It is standard Michael Bay schlock with more angles than a geometry class. So many unnecessary sweeping poses you'd be forgiven for believing this film was a photo shoot. The rapid cuts make me believe the editor treats his epilepsy with white lines. With rapid editing, the imagery is difficult to follow at times. While it is nice to see many stunts done practically at least, so much of the film is an out-of-control joyride like replacing all four of your strut towers on your car with leaf springs, memory foam, and bamboo. And the only way to remedy this pain would be to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed. It would be appreciated if you like and share this video too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.